Hello everyone, welcome to Quantum Guruji. So today we are going to learn like uh, how to visualize the output file or a log file of uh, Gaussian. Okay. So what we have to do is once we have done such calculation using Gaussian, you will be getting one output file or if you if you are using uh, sometime you will be getting a log file. So that is the out main output file for the from the Gaussian. And there will be one checkpoint file. So what you need to do is click this output file right click now and open with your notepad or if you have notepad plus plus and open with any software okay now this is your uh, you know the window of your notepad plus plus where you can see the output file information so in this calculation so in the beginning the information whatever is available here is it is giving you the total number of processor that your system has and that you are using it mainly so in this in my system I have 12 processors so I am using all of the processors simultaneously and uh, with shared memory okay and apart from that these are the different different version of uh, Gaussian that, uh, that is given here and when we are going down then these are the uh, name of different different authors who has contributed to the software Gaussian okay and when you are going further down so now you see this is the this version of the Gaussian okay then you will be having the path for the checkpoint file and again you see the keywords for your uh, geometry optimization whatever keywords is available okay and these are the connectivity linkage fine and this is the Z matrix for this methane molecule whatever input you have given then this is the initial parameters and this is the in initial input orientation of your molecule then it will convert this input orientation using distance matrix to the standard coordinate or a standard orientation in the beginning the symmetry of the molecule is tetrahedral td okay and these are the abelian groups that you know now this is the standard orientation of the molecule okay the origin is set at zero and that origin carbon is set okay so this is the standard orientation now these are the standard basis that we have chosen here and for this basis uh, how many you know basis function will be there so you will get 17 basis and 27 is primitive Gaussian, 17 is Cartesian basis function, 5 alpha electron and 5 beta electrons. Okay so in this way we can find out uh, how many basis function will be coming from the, the basics that we have used here. Okay so coming down now you these are the occupied MOs okay occupied amos and these are the unoccupied amos which is known as virtual okay these will be anti bonding mostly and coming to the down then the SCF calculation will start okay and this is the orbital symmetry these are the symmetry of your amos orbit occupied amos and where this t2 is your homo and a1 is your lomo okay like that it goes t2 is homo this is your homo minus one and generally if you see symmetry is same so homo is uh, triple d is in date okay so this all of this is the homo and homo minus one is this one and he, this is also d is in date so homo is triple d is in date and homo minus one is double d is in date okay so coming down these are the molecular charges of the you know the elements in your molecule then coming down what do you see these are the uh, the uh, distance matrix second uh, second derivative matrix coming to the down yeah so from here the first SCF cycle is over and the geometry is not converged once your geometry is converged the maximum force and the root mean square value of force maximum displacement and the RMS value of displacement this has to be converged first okay so uh, until it is not getting converged your SCF will restart now again like uh, there one SCF is finished now again another SF has started for the yes, geometry optimization once this is over what you will see is see so once your geometry optimization over you will be seeing this all of these will be converged and they will give you one um, cot optimization completed and you found this test point okay since this was just the geometry optimization so this is the convergence for the geometry optimization now frequency calculation will be started using the output file 
of the optimized geometry as the input for the frequency calculation okay so this is the standard orientation after geometry optimization so this orientation like this geometry will be used for the further calculation for the frequency frequency calculation okay so once frequency calculation is started see once you see this this is the uh, like when you see this data this specifically means that your geometry optimization is over and this is the summary of your data okay and again you will see one quote here okay and now your uh, for the frequency calculation your system has started okay now coming down this is the second order derivative of your energy that you got and from here you will be getting the frequency of your molecule like each and every frequency is corresponding to your molecule fine coming down now from here you will start seeing the frequencies so this is the first frequency here uh, 1413 uh, the symmetry is t2 okay so like that you will be seeing different different frequencies and the corresponding symmetry these are the symmetry t2 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 these are the e a1 these are the symmetry of that specific frequencies okay and like that you have seen all those frequencies fine now for the thermochemistry that uh, calculation has started and uh, this is the temperature that you, this was in use this is the room temperature and the pressure is one atmospheric pressure if you want to change like temperature or whatever thing you need to change you can change in the keyword section while giving input for the molecule okay so once this calculation is done you will be getting different like uh, if you want to do some zero point correction you have to use this corrections energy whatever correction if you want to use for your molecule you have to do addition for uh, like uh, that Correction you need to add in your total energy respectively for thermo like thermochemical calculations. Okay, so from this you'll be getting certain data regarding your thermal electronic energy rotational vibrational and the, all those energies you can get it from here. And coming down here also you'll be seeing one this convergence menu. And this all of them has to be converged and only your system like molecule is converged. Once this is done again you'll be seeing one summary for entire system. This will give you the summary of your molecule. Okay, again you will be seeing one quote here, quotation, and here they'll give you the how, the, how much time the, your system took to complete the job. Okay, so this is the way to see the you know the output file of your Gaussian. Thank you.